It is 8.30 and time for our high beam this morning. Kind of a handyman. Carl Sowers has uh, lots of hats to wear at the... Let me get this right. Twin Cities Community Service Center Food Pantry. Did I get, a, get them all there? That's close enough. <laughs> that means it was almost there. Yeah, so it was almost there. Very, very close. Well, thanks for coming in. I appreciate seeing you. How, how are things? Well, things are busy. Uh, and I'm glad to be here and get the word out uh, to the community and the surrounding areas. We talk about the food pantry. Uh, started way back in the uh, the 80s. And it, like everything else, has had to evolve and then continues to evolve, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It, it started, uh, like you said, back in the 80s, way back uh, over in Denison. It was a place that was rented through the railroad over there. And it's been moved several times mm-hmm. uh now we're at 109 north water street right next to federated auto there in Uriksville. so yeah it's evolving uh we have to go with the times uh mm-hmm. times have changed and uh so are we what sort of things uh are evolving i know we talked last time about a, a senior program and uh i guess that's up and running yeah our senior program has really taken off um the Akin canton regional food bank wanted us to do at least 20 to 25 boxes get them out to our seniors that sign up and our first month we had 55 <laughs> people sign up and this month this wednesday i go pick up um, i have 75 boxes to be picked up and those are going to be either delivered or they can be picked up at the food pantry itself what exactly uh, are, are involved in the boxes for the seniors? Well, we don't specifically know what's in that box. We can give you a general idea. Yeah. There's going to be some protein in there, like some maybe some tuna or some chicken or salmon. You know, it could be all three. Um, some type of uh, vegetable in, in a can and mm-hmm. fruit in a can, cereal, things like that. And also, along with that, is a two pound box i call it the government cheese yeah uh everybody gets a two pound box of that and it's only once a month so it does help a little bit and each person in the household that's 60 and over and lives in tuscarawas county can can come into our food pantry and get an application like i said this is a government program Mm -hmm. we're not even allowed to open the boxes up Uh, but we can add to it if we want to just by giving things yeah. out. Um, you come and get an application, fill it out. Uh, we need the income and things like that that you get. And and then we go through the process of approving it or not approving it. But we do our best to get the approval done. And that's one time you do that and then, then you're on the list. That is correct. Yep. Yeah, and it's been it's been huge for us. Uh, very successful kind of. Uh, we have a, a, a young lady, um, Heather Houston, uh, from the area. Her kids go to Claymont here. Um, she's kind of in charge of the program, so she's done an outstanding job for the very first time of us doing it. Uh, we, we weren't too sure what was this going to detail, <laughs> but right. uh, it is overwhelming. So if there's anybody out there who would like to give us a hand on Wednesdays, um, I'm usually back, you know, sometime in the uh, – late morning and we try to get things separated and get ready to rock and roll and get those things out all right we talk a little bit more about that we can we can use the help uh, physically uh when you talk about substantial yeah wednesday wednesday nights has been a huge hit for us because we it helps those who actually work that are eligible to come to mm-hmm. the food pantry